Yeah, it was uh, actually kind of a crazy story. Obviously, you know, Big Dos TV. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had um, been watching YouTube. I saw a video that Dos did. And basically, he said, like, I'm going to fly one fan out mm. to make a video. Um, all you have to do is follow me on Snapchat. And so I was thinking to myself, okay, this is kind of bullshit. Like, you know, all these influencers are saying, like, oh, all you got to do is this, and then you'll get this. But I was like, screw it. You know, I'll try it. So I can't remember the time lapse between that video coming out and when I got the email. You won. I won. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I've heard this side of this story. No? Okay. Wow. So I got an email, and it... it <laughs> It's now like Dawson's one of my best friends, right? Mm -hmm. So it's funny now hearing or like telling this story, but I get an email from him and it just says, you won, you bitch. It's like, <laughs> that's the most Dawson thing ever. And so he announced on his Snapchat, he's like, congrats. And I think he said my name wrong. He's like, Steven Shapiro. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. And so when we were talking about dates, so I like come to San Diego, it almost, it almost didn't work for me because mm. I had my work. Um, and what were you doing at the time? I was um, doing sales for Yelp, the uh, you know online directory. Mm. And so I was living in San Francisco at the time. Luckily, the competition was in San Diego, so it was a nice, quick little flight. Um, long story short, went out there, made the video with him. So the, what video was that? Picking up girls with a fan. Which has grown to be your specialty. I had never done a single pickup video in my life. and so Did you know at that point you had good game? No. Because I think you are widely regarded as one of, like, if I had to bet on someone to go pick up a chick, I would hire you. Appreciate that. Yeah. 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 I had, I had no idea because I really, I didn't, I didn't do it too often, mm -hmm. right? Like, yeah, I'd go out to bars and, you know, whatever happens, happens. But it wasn't like my prerogative. I wasn't like, yeah, I'm going to go practice these pickup lines, mm. um, let alone on video. Because mm. I had made like a couple prank videos. Um, one that I had made was called, <laughs> I titled it like sexy drag racer prank. So I put on a woman's one piece bathing suit, went mm -hmm. out to the streets of San Francisco and like, you know, uh, fast and furious when mm -hmm. like the sexy girls start the races. Yeah. So I did that in traffic. Um, and looking back on it is so weird, but I, also I applaud that idea. I like that. <laughs> Thank I like you. That. I need to redo it. Mm -hmm. Um, but also in San Francisco, that was so normal that <laughs> people were just like, uh, another one's out here. Um, so went out filmed the video the first day was fucking terrible like couldn't get a number we were also super drunk the next day went amazing were you nervous the first day insanely like insanely and was it also a combination of like you're here with this big internet guy that you don't really know you have to perform on camera and you're doing the task that's already nerve-wracking without the camera of picking up women's so i'd imagine that whole situation was oh was terrible mm -hmm. yeah my mind was like going in a million places. I didn't sleep the night before because I was so scared. Um, <laughs> and then I went, again, long story short, video went really, really well. He put it out and he said, you know, make sure to subscribe to Steven. Let's see if we can get him to 10,000 subscribers. I had like maybe 150, 200. Mm. That first day, I think I jumped up to like 6,000. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Was that blowing your mind at the time? 100%. That was back in the time where Social Blade had the live subscriber counter, mm. you know? And so I was like watching it as the video came out, like video came out first, like three minutes. I got like five, six. I'm like, all right, well we tried It'd be cool. And then it was like, like we'd go up like a hundred. I'd be like, whoa, and then like a couple hundred. I'm like, holy shit, what's happening. And so I remember I was at my job and like me and all my coworkers were watching this like live. You didn't have to hide it from your employers at all. No, nah, they, they were super excited. Um, That's and really cool. That's cool. Yeah. And then, so, did that, got the subscribers. I kept making videos. Obviously, you know, having 10,000 subscribers, you can't, really, you can't really do much with that except just keep going. It's not like you're going to be able to quit your job. And so, I just kept making videos, kept making videos until I got to about, like, I think it was, like, 15 or 20,000 subscribers. Still nothing to quit mm -hmm. your, you know, regular job about. But I did it. I just jumped ship. And you, and you had been strategic because you saved up a nest egg, right? So you could kind of jump off. And did you give yourself a timeline? Like, hey, if I don't make this many subscribers or, or this many dollars? or No, I was just like, screw it. I'm doing it. Did but you enjoy your job at all? Parts of it. Yeah. Parts of it. I enjoy the people, I think. That, that was like my number one in, in the environment. Because I would guess a guy that is as silly and goofy and smart and funny as you, you'd struggle in the corporate world. The stuff like the buttoned in this, the procedural... 
I, that's all I knew. Mm. That's all I knew. And so, so you didn't feel this like deep desire to get away from it or like there was this void in your heart. Like to you, it was okay. But when you saw this other opportunity, you just took it. Yeah. But you weren't like staring at bridges, measuring the height of them, saying, I need to get out of this thing. I mean, I, I wasn't, I'm not going to say I was the happiest person in the world, especially like, I don't know if you've ever had a sales job. Mm. It's fucking grueling. 